Hi, I'm Fred McNeil and you're watching QAC TV and have we got a great show for you. We're going to have a show on golf every week and we're fortunate we're down at my favorite golf course, Blue Heron Golf Course and it's your golf course, it's a public golf course and we're going to go around with the pro which I'm going to introduce in a second and each week we'll play a couple holes, we'll talk about it and what's so great about this course. Eric, thank you for joining us today and how about introduce yourself to the crowd here. Yes, I'm Eric Buffet. I'm the head pro here at Blue Heron Golf Course, and I've been here for 10 years. 10 years, and your wife's an AP history teacher. she got the best of both worlds, right? That's Re right. Recreation and education. Eric, before we get out on the course, tell us a little bit about our course. What are our summer operating hours? We're open daily from 7 a.m. until sunset. So it's uh, every Plenty day of week. time to play golf. That's right. It's a beautiful summer so far. Now, what are our costs? The cost right now is uh, the max rate you would pay would be $34. Uh, for a regular guy like you and I, um, seniors pay $30. That's for 18 holes with a cart, and then the rates go down from there. Okay, great. And you have specials. Is it Wednesday and Friday? You correct me. Yes. What are the specials? Wednesday and Friday, we have a great golf and lunch special. It's $27. Golf cart, 18 holes, lunch, or you can play nine holes for $17, cart and lunch also included. And so. you can't beat it. And not only do you get lunch, but it's served and prepared by whom? Sometimes myself. All right. Now, that is golf, right? When the yeah. golf pro not only helps you with the golf game, all right, but they also help you with lunch, all right? Eric, it's a beautiful day today. How about we go out and swing a couple golf clubs and visit the first two holes today? Sounds great. Okay. Start. See you at the tee box. Eric, now we're here at the first hole. How about tell us a little bit about the first hole here at Blue Heron? Well, the first hole was originally the ninth hole on the old golf course, which is now our number one hole. Um, it's very tight. It's one of the nine par fours on the golf course, and it's probably one of the longer, or plays to be one of the longer par fours out here. I know, every time I play it, trees to the left, trees to the right, so you gotta go right down the center, right? That's right, and this front nine, as you'll see as we go along, has very small greens. So if you can keep the ball in the short grass off the tee, you have a better chance at scoring. And let's just remind everybody, from the white tee, we're 319 yards, right? That's correct. From the red tee, 299, we're par four. So we're going to swing away, Eric, and with this, and as a, by the way, I, I do have to comment, what a beautiful breeze we get off the bay at this course, right? Yeah, great. It's always nice and cool here. So. Oh, it's great. Hey, before we hit off, I want to say one thing. Tell me about the pro shop. You got a delightful pro shop. The pro shop, uh, while it is small, it serves a, a great purpose. We have a snack bar in there that serves lunch. We also carry balls, tees, gloves, socks, you know, everything some wind you shirts. Yeah. Everything you need. Golf okay. accessories. So. Okay. So you can not only get a meal there, but hey, if you forgot your golf balls or tees or need some equipment, you've got it. That's right. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Hey, nice. Lord. That's why he's a pro. Perfect. Maybe I should have given him a lesson before we did this. I was gonna say, yeah. You could put a disclaimer on this. I've never given Fred <laughs> a lesson. It's right down the center though. There we go. There we go. Now this is why someone's a professional. Eric, I want you to know, from the T, how long do you think your drive was? Uh, this is probably about 310. 310. And for the folks at home, that's two of my hits from the tee, all right? Two of them. Great first shot. Okay, let's finish this thing up with a couple putts, okay? It's good to get rid of the first tee jitters this way. There you yeah. go. All right. Eric, we're here at the first note. Now, hey, before we putt out here, how about remind everybody about the proper green etiquette or the etiquette to follow when we get on the greens? Yes, uh, very important when you're on the greens. And when you start hitting the greens like this, you're going to leave a little bit of a ball mark. So what you should do is invest in one of these little handy tools, they're only maybe a dollar or so, and fix the markers that you leave on the greens and fix somebody else's while you're at it so the next person can make a nice smooth putt. 
And, and let's talk about it when you get on the greens. Now, what's the proper way to mark the ball in terms of who marks and who putts at? What's the etiquette there? Well, that, everybody likes to mark their ball when they first get on so they can pick it up and clean it off a little bit from the grass. But what you want to do is mark the ball directly behind the ball to the pin with a, a little marker or a coin if you have one. Okay. And drop it down, and then the person furthest away will go, f go first. And... Usually in a friendly game of golf, you can just continuously putt. So you're going to putt and then right putt out. out. Okay. That way it speeds things up for everybody. All right, Eric, we're at the second hole. By the way, I do want to compliment you again on the first hole. Folks, he drove the ball over 300 yards, which to me is pretty amazing, all right? Tell me about hole number two. Hole number two is a uh, dog leg to the left. It was the original course number one. The pro shop used to sit right off to the side here. Um, good little par four. Again, uh, tough, to, tough driving hole. Have to draw it in there a little bit. And then another small green. And I tell you what, it is a dog leg. I hit, uh, I hit to the fence straight ahead and then take that left shot. But we're from the white tees, 320 yards. From the red tees, 291. I'm going to ask you before you hit this one, are you going to go over the trees or do you go straight out? Well, we'll try to keep it down the left side maybe with a little bit of a draw. And then uh, hopefully find ourselves in the middle of the fairway. Okay, here we go. Hole number two. Here we are at the second hole, Eric. So we've got a dog leg to the left. Nice hit. Another great shot, Ed. Another 300 yard drive. <laughs> now we'll see a 300 foot drive coming up. All right, we've got on the tee, Lefty McNeil. I just want to let you know that this is not the recommended method of moving the ball down the fairway, but he still gets it done. Nice. All right, good shot. After a little uh, foot wedge, we have found ourselves in the middle of the fairway with Fred's ball. He's got about uh, 140 yards to the green. Well, we have about uh, 80, 70, 80 yards into the green from here. So we just want to pop it up in that green and hold right on that green. Right? Try to hit the front of that green or just in front of that and let it roll up on the green. Like I said, these greens all slope from back to front. So okay. and it is a small, save along the hole. Yeah. And it is a small green, so we got to be right on target here. They are small turtle-shaped greens on this front nine, uh, so it's very good for your shot making. A pitching wedge would be good. Yeah. Uh, keep it below the wind. It's, it is windy today. It's going to work out just to the front of the green, it looks like. Eric's about to take his second shot, and he's using a sandwich. Just kind of nudge it up, pop it up on that uh, small green. Nice shot. Nice height. Land right on that green. Stop. Kicks over. You're right. There's small greens, right? One hop, and you're in the woods. Eric, we're about getting ready here to putt out on the second hole. Hey, tell us about you got some great summer camps out and how people can get information on those camps. Yeah, we do. We have some great camps all summer long for kids as, uh, age 5 all the way up to 16. Um, you can find all the information on dates and prices on the uh, website, which is blueheronggolf.org. And they're very reasonably priced, and for the beginner as well as the high school kid that, hey, maybe you can be playing on the golf team. There are. We have a players camp at the end of summer to prepare kids for uh, high school golf. And then we have camps for, you know, five-year-olds that just want to get out and swing a couple days. And uh, Are they all day or half day or a couple hours or what? Uh, all the leagues run from, uh, or the camps, camps, I'm sorry, run from 9 to 1130. Okay. Which is great. And uh, when we come back next time and do holes three and four, we're going to tell, tell about all these great leagues you have, okay? We do, yeah. All right, Eric, have a little commentary as I try to putt out here. All right, Fred. Good luck here. Uh, that's a pretty good putt. It's uphill. It's a good shot. All right, let's put that old uh, wooden putter to good use here. Yeah! I think that ball's afraid of the dark, Fred. Tell about the advertising. If someone wants to advertise or each hole has a sponsor, tell us about that. We do. We offer these signs. Um, very inexpensive advertising and you get out to about 20,000 or 20,000 golfers a year. They're $200 for the year. Um, and we have one on every hole. It talks about your company, phone numbers, anything that helps you get a little more business. It does. And a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll use our scorecard as a uh, coupon. So it would say, 
hey, if you saw us on number two, bring your bring your scorecard in for a discount at a local restaurant or a business. So okay. it's a good way for them to track that they're getting some exposure. And All right, Eric's got about a 10-foot putt, and he's actually putting from the fringe of the green. Nice looking putt. Come over, come up. All right, Eric, we're both a little strong today. A little on the high side. Nice shot as we finish up with hole number two. <laughs>